Welcome again. So in our previous video, we talked about accessing the um, Excel list just by using an external list question. And we also interacted with uh, the selected answer text of that question and the actual um, answer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can take this one step further and access the Excel list using script code instead of an external list question. So let's assume we don't just want to show the actual um, airport name and the airport code that was chosen. We also want to see the actual country that this airport that was chosen belongs to. So for that, I'm going to use another empty question. And in here, I am uh, going to put in country. And then I'm going to pipe in here the country, which is a which is uh, associated with the chosen airport. And to do that, I'm going to head over to my scripts. And then I'm going to put in the necessary code to actually access the Excel list. And this is the code. So initially, we just define a variable called country, we set it to none, then we're going to use this specific function called DBL get subject store row. And with DBL get subject store row, I pass in as the first variable, the actual additional data list name, which is our airports, then I tell it what the ID column is. And then I tell it what the value is that I want to query that list by. So the value would be the code of the airport. And the airport ID is the column that I'm trying to query. This function will return to me a single row which corresponds to the actual airport code of my chosen airport. And so I check that the row actually has to return some values and then I can access the different columns of the row of the actual row. And I remind you in our store, we have the airport ID, which is the code. We have the airport name and we also have the country column. So in my specific example, I'm accessing the country column, but I could have also accessed the city, the latitude or the longitude or any other attributes if there were any other columns here. And so in my case, I access it through the syntax row and then um, the country column right here. And finally, I just use the set text format to pipe into my current question, the actual country value. Let's see how that plays out in the emulator. And so question number one is to choose my airport. I'm going to choose Newark again. And then I see that I chose Newark. That's part of our previous exercise. And the code was EWR. And my next question shows me that the country is the United States, which is the country of the Newark uh, airport of the United States of New York and New York United States. So by using the DBL get subject store row, I can actually s access the Excel list through script and query individual rows and interact with them. So in this case, it's just uh, getting one row, but I can very easily also query multiple rows. And you can find that out in our support portal. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to take this example even more um, one step further, meaning we're going to start off with showing the different countries and then showing the available airports of those countries, kind of a hierarchical access to um, the Excel list that we have if we have some hierarchy in the Excel. So this could uh, apply to countries and cities and streets or any kind of uh, parent child relationship that you might have within your Excel, uh, like brands and products and stuff like that. So stay tuned to our next video where we cover virtual lists using list sources.